is Chew Magna Born and Bred. I filmed this back in 2016. Local farmer says you've got some livestock fit for us. Go out Sunday morning and have a look. Yeah, have that one, that one, that one. They bring it in the following Wednesday and job's done. Our main core is meat. All the other bits are just a add-on and helps pay the rent. What do you think you can offer that makes people want to come to you? Local produce. And meat yeah. the way you want it. And like cut you to your requirements. Yeah. You'll do a better job than me. Keep going. <laughs> so how long have you been coming in here? 20 something years. Yeah. Eggs are local. The eggs are from Compton Martin. Milk is from Bishop Sutton. Bread is Macy's Family Bakery. Honey, Chew Valley honey. Uh, did I say the veg? Helen Curtis, it's Stanton Drew. Ian Cox, Morledge, beef this week. Yeah, it's pretty well. It might have been a silly question, but I wondered what was his busiest time of year? Christmas, obviously. Very busy. We get a nice queue at Christmas. Yes. It used to have a queue every Friday and Saturday, but not anymore. No, shopping has changed a lot over the years. But Christmas is still the major. Yeah, it's a big one. And is that a favourite time? Yeah. I enjoy Christmas. Yeah, it's hard work, but I enjoy it. Yeah, if, we weren't if we weren't busy, we wouldn't be very happy. No, no. You know? special time in the village? I think so, yeah. Yeah, it is. On Boxing Day in 1980, he even appeared on national TV. Have I heard of the Irish turkey, he asks me. It was looking forward to Christmas. Cliff was brought up in his father's butcher's shop at the top of the high street. It looked very different in 1938 when this film was taken, with a rather splendid statue above the door. Well, I was the youngest of three boys, two younger sisters. So when it came to leaving school, Mr. Gard asked what I wanted to do, and I said to be a butcher. Grandfather was a butcher, father before me. The house we were born in and brought up in was a butcher shop and slaughterhouse. So you could go out the back door and see the slaughtering being done from the age of crawling, basically. You used to have school milk years ago. Half a pint? No, it was a third of a pint, wasn't it? One half, about a third. It was left out on the gates. And two of us used to have to go out during assembly to carry the crate in to the kitchen. And when we got in the kitchen, sit down, you boys. There's a cup of tea. I expect you'd like some biscuits, wouldn't you? So we'd sit in the kitchen all, all through assembly. This is brilliant. <laughs> With Mrs. Hodges, who's still alive, 93. I think 93, yeah, birthday the other day. 94 the other day. Is still that alive. the same school as today? The primary school in Shumagna, yeah. And what age did you school? 16. 16. And started work the next day. Right. Left on Friday and worked on Saturday. Right. Yeah. yeah. That was it. <laughs> Straight in. Cliff always saw his future living and working in Chew Magna. Yeah, well, you never move far out, outside the environment back in the 60s. So, it, yeah, it was just natural to you. You didn't, think, you, didn't, you didn't think of the global world out there, if you know what I mean. Tell me what, what it means to you being in a village. Well, it's my home. I'm born and bred here. I don't, don't think anything different, I suppose. Is that the right answer? I don't know. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Mike Rowe will take me out. Sure. Mike Rowe will take me out. <laughs> Explain that for people who don't know. <laughs> He's a man with a wooden box. The local funeral director. <laughs> but yeah, that's about how it is, really. Yeah. Cliff's son, Mark, is now helping run the shop. So, with any luck, There'll be a Pierce's Butchers in Chew Magna High Street for some time to come.